Tonight, you got to wonder if NBA games would be more exciting if they just had a college band in the stands. There's something special about college basketball about this time of year, about hearing those bands, but mostly it's about the giant killers and the new giants that emerge with every March Madness. After your bracket gets destroyed, why not just enjoy the action? Millions of fans have decided to do just that. We get our report tonight from NBC's Stephanie Gosk. Goes ahead and takes it. Incredible. Kentucky and Wichita State battled it out in a real nail biter. Down to the buzzer with a final three pointer for the win that just missed. The undefeated Shockers, who thought this was their year, were knocked out. Pure madness. 64 teams compete and 63 suffer the same heartbreak. Some lose in upsets, a towel over the head, can't get off the bench kind of loss. But an upset could just as easily be called the victory of a lifetime. A jump in the air, tackle the guy next to you kind of win. Few predicted Mercer's win over Duke. The university from Macon, Georgia, ruined bracket predictions across the country. The Mercer Bears moving on. I think people miss that in professional sports, that unbridled, just pure joy of, uh, of, 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 of kids barely old enough to shave celebrating uh, an un unpredicted win. 11th seed Dayton had no business beating 3rd seed Syracuse. So at 3 in the morning in Ohio, thousands of students stayed up to greet the team, along with the university president, proof that the enthusiasm is only partially explained by you. On Dayton's campus today, Cinderella is clearly still at the ball. The slipper fits right now, so we're Cinderella, and that's fine with us. For the first time in almost 30 years, Dayton is one of the Sweet 16, who hope to be one of the Final Four, who dream of being the last team standing. Somebody's going to make it. Why not us? Pure madness. Sweet 16! Sweet 16! Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. And that is our broadcast for this Monday night during the madness as we start off a new week. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Brian Williams. We certainly hope to see you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.